Alright guys, so wanna make a video. I actually uh decided to spend some time. Um I was called for jury duty, um, but got dismissed. Um obviously they didn't want to uh have uh, an educated person on the stand that actually understood the laws to the uh the actual laws on why people were being incriminated. Um and they basically gave me a pass where uh, you know now I don't have to serve on on jury for the next six years. So what I did was, though, I said, let me go watch some uh, cases. So I went into the courtroom, state court in uh, Nassau County, and and I learned uh, even some more stuff. So I'm going to talk about a couple things that what we need to know about the justice system. Number one, the justice system is a joke. So what I realized that the courts make people come to the courthouse at 9 a.m. The judge in no courtroom, no courtroom in Nassau County gets to the bench till 1020. So meanwhile, you, you got all these people waiting and waiting and waiting to go see the judge for felony charges, misdemeanors, assault, whatever it may be. And the prisoners, which I realized that I was talking to one of the court officers who was very, very um, polite, and I told him I would you know, because I couldn't record inside the court. Um, and even in the area where I was at. Um, but we were talking and I was like, what time do the prisoners get there? He said, well, the prisoners get here, you know, between five and seven. And they go into a holding pen. So meanwhile, these guys are now uh, in a holding cell waiting to see the judge. And the judge doesn't get there on the bench to even call for the first case until 1020. So now you got these guys all bottled up in these holding pens down in, 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 the, in the lower level of the courtroom. Uh, and, you know, obviously tensions build up. You hear some scuffles. You got the wrong people, you know, inmates in there with, uh, you know, or misdemeanors with guys that are in there with felony charges. Some of them are even there with uh, aggravated assault, attempted murder. It's insane. And he was telling me this. He was like, yeah, he says, you know, there's no way to fight at least once, twice a week that, you know, we got to go down there or somebody, you know, something occurred that where they get involved. But what's really insane about the whole justice system is that, you know, you're listening to the attorneys and you're hearing the attorneys, right? So if you're in prison and you actually, let's say you're waiting on, on, you know, to hear, to, to be arraigned after your arraignment. Now you're waiting for your first date, which most of these people are. They couldn't afford bail, couldn't fail, uh, afford the bond. So they went and they have legal representation from the state. They also are now at the mercy of the court, right? So being at the mercy of the court means if that prosecutor, the DA or uh, district attorney's uh, prosecutor is there, decides to adjourn for another date because they failed, they didn't have enough time to gather the proper evidence... That person that could not afford bail, who's normally a minority, um, is now forced to go wait for another court date. Guess where he goes back to? The holding pen, then back to jail. So what I realized as I was sitting and watching how many of these people had another date adjourned or another court date because there was no evidence or they failed to, do, you know, to even get a chance to review the case. Because that's what 99 out of 100 times happens. The prosecutor DA's office has not even reviewed the case. Or they were too busy to review the case because there were more serious charges ahead of those other misdemeanors or uh, Class B, Class C felonies, which are lesser charges. So now these people sit in, this, in, 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 in the jail system, which means the prison is making money, right? Because you now have these people that are actually now they're getting paid for. So it's a racket. It is a total racket. It is unjustified. It is inhumane. Number two, it is unfair. It is not guaranteed the person that is arrested a speedy trial. They do not get a speedy trial. It is everything against what the Constitution stands for. And the bail and the bond on some of these are ridiculous. Ridiculous on first-time offenders in Nassau County, 
petty theft. You know, they got some of these with, with, that, that couldn't make a bail bond of, you know, a thousand dollars because they just don't have it. The family doesn't have the wherewithal. Of, you know, they're minority, they're Hispanic. Most of them, honestly, 90% of the 15 people that I've watched call up or watch their, their, their legal uh, aides represent were black and Hispanic. And if you're not black with some money or Hispanic with some money to afford to get out of the system, you're going to stay in the system. So do yourself a favor. Don't put yourself in that situation to get locked up in jail because the system is not in your favor. It is not equal justice. You are not innocent until proven guilty. You are guilty until proven innocent so you can get your ass out. So please do yourselves a favor. Make sure you, if you're going to do the crime, make sure you have money to bail your ass out because you will not win from being inside because when you're on the outside and you represent yourself and you actually have an attorney that is actually talking to the prosecutor, things go so much easier. Not only do you get adjourned, but you also actually get to hear them talk to the prosecutor. You get to hear the prosecutor says they're willing to make some sort of a uh, a deal, even if it is a major charge, which I've watched happen. So you got to be able to represent yourself outside of the courtroom. You cannot do it from within behind the bars. Um, and this needs to change. The justice system is so screwed up, it's so backwards. Nassau County needs to get their shit together. The judges need to be on time. You work for the people. You are here for the people. You're supposed to put in eight hours. You can't be coming to the courtroom at 1030. Court's over at four. You just took away one and a half hours of someone's time and the ability to be seen or maybe even have a trial for that day because you want to start court. This is the last couple of days. You want to start court at 1020. 10.30. And that's all the courtrooms. I guess they got, the judges are downstairs playing, who knows, foosball, whatever they're doing. I don't know what they're doing. Catching up on last night's uh, episode of uh, Reruns of Power. Who knows? They do something, but they definitely don't want to be on that bench at 9 o'clock. Because none of the courtrooms are open at night. The courtroom's open. You can go in there, but you ain't going to see a judge until 10, 20, 10, 30. That's a guarantee. If I lie, somebody put a post in this post right now. And let me know that I'm lying. That's from Long Island National County. On that note, don't get yourself locked up. Stay safe. Peace.